This video explains how to add a polynomial regression line to a plot using the R programming language. So without too much talk, let's dive into the R code. In this video, I will show you two examples and both of these examples are based on the data frame that we can create with the lines 2 to 5 of the code. So after running these lines of code, a new data set called data is appearing at the top right and we can print the first six rows of this data set using the head function as you can see in line 6 of the code. And then you can see at the bottom in the RStudio console that our data frame contains two columns x and y and both of these columns contain random numeric values. Now in the next step we need to estimate a polynomial regression model based on these data using the lm and the poly functions as you can see in lines 8 and 9 of the code and I'm storing the output of the lm function in a new data object that I'm calling myMod. So after running these lines of code a new data object called myMod is appearing at the top right and we can create some summary statistics of this model by running line 10 of the code and then you can see at the bottom in the RStudio console that we have created some summary statistics for our model. However, in this case, we want to draw our data and we can do that using the plot function, as you can see in line 12 of the code. So in this line of code, I'm specifying a model within the plot function and the data set in which our data is stored. So after running line 12 of the code, a new graphic is appearing at the bottom right which is showing our data points in a scatter plot. And then if we want to add a polynomial regression line to this plot, we have to apply the lines function as you can see in lines 14 to 17 of the code. And within the lines function, we need to apply the sort function to our X vector. Then we need to apply the fitted function to our model object that we have created above. And then we need to sort our model object based on the x vector. In this case, I'm also specifying that I want to show our line in red and I'm specifying that I want to draw a line. So if you run lines 14 to 17 of the code, you can see at the bottom right that our plot is updated and this time we have added a polynomial regression line to our plot. In this first example, I have explained how to use the basic installation of the R programming language to add a polynomial regression line. However, it's also possible to use the ggplot2 package for this task. And this is what I want to show you in the second example, starting in line 19 of the code. So as a first step, we need to install and load the ggplot2 package, as you can see in lines 19 and 20 of the code. I have installed the package already, so for that reason I'm just going to load it with line 20 of the code. And after running this line of code, we can create a ggplot2 scatter plot using the ggplot and geompoint functions, as you can see in lines 22 and 23. So after running these lines of code, a new plot object called ggp is appearing at the top right. And we can draw this plot to the bottom right by running line 24 of the code. And then you can see that we have created the same scatter plot as in the previous example. However, this time the scatter plot is shown in this typical ggplot2 style that you might already know from previous videos. Now, if we want to add a polynomial regression line to this plot, we can use our plot object ggp that we have created before. And then we can add to this the stat smooth function. And within this function, we need to specify the method to be equal to LM and the formula to be equal to our formula that we have used before when we have estimated our polynomial regression model. In this case, I'm also specifying the SE argument to be equal to false. More on that later. So if you run lines 26 to 29 of the code, you can see at the bottom right that a new line is added to our plot and this line shows the polynomial regression line of our model. Now, as I have told you before, in this case I have specified the SE argument to be equal to false. However, we can also remove this argument from our statsmooth call. As you can see in the next example in lines 31 to 33, so I'm using exactly the same code as in lines 26 to 28. However, this time I'm not using the SE argument. 
And if we run these lines of code, you can see that at the bottom right, our plot is updated once again, and this time our polynomial regression line is shown with standard errors. That's all I wanted to explain in this video. In case you want to learn more on this topic, you may check out my homepage statisticsglobe.com because on my homepage I have recently published a tutorial in which I'm explaining the content of this video in some more detail. I will put a link to this tutorial into the description of the video so you can find it there. If you have liked this video or if you have any questions, let me know in the comments section below. I'll try to respond to all comments as soon as I can. Furthermore, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel to get notified about future video releases. I have already published about 500 videos on this channel and I'm releasing new videos on a daily basis. Thanks a lot for watching. See you in the next video.